Hey, good morning. My name is Rich Tomasini. My wife and I built a modern house about five years ago. So let me give you a tour. So I've been in the real estate business for 23 years and I've seen thousands and thousands of houses. I mean, I was an appraiser in Fort Lauderdale for seven years. So the amount of appraisals we did, we were doing probably 25 appraisals a week, right? So all the houses I've seen since I've been 20 years old, all the way into my mid forties has always given me different ideas. Now those ideas, haven't always reconciled well with the budget, <laughs> but we were able to muster together enough money back in 2016 when my oldest son Ronan was about two months old, we moved in here, we built this house in four months, we drew it on a napkin, we designed the entire thing and orchestrated the entire process and we did it cash and we ran out of money at the end. That's a whole other story, but we were able to, to get in here. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about is, you know, I'm a, I'm a tiny home, you know, Pinterest, <laughs> scroller, right? I've been into like VW buses and small living way before the millennials had claimed that entire interest. And I love that shared interest that we have. But one thing I'm a big fan of too is, is always living below my means. So being that I've been self-employed since I was 19 or 20, before I got into EXP, I was just selling real estate. We were selling up to $45 million of business per year. But when I went through eight, nine, 10 and 11, it really resettled my mind and gave me this mentality moving forward that we should always build uh, below our means. Actually, if we could have a house that's less than what we make in a year, that would take my anxiety way down. Now, since I've been at EXP, that's no longer an issue because we've been able to leverage ourselves and, and build a bigger empire, but we're still in the same house because we love it and we created it. And if we do another house, it'll actually probably be smaller than this house potentially, unless we buy a resale. But this house is 2,650 square feet, plus or minus. And let me give you a quick tour. So being that I'm from South Florida, I like stucco. So hard coat stucco on the outside. I had these custom sort of like chopper decorative pieces the, in the soffits here. Garage space is a huge, huge thing for me. So I never have enough garage space. So right now my wife's always got the good spot here close to the door with the kids. And then I've got my daily driver. a Jeep that I'm working on, and we finished it all off. The window's in here to make it not so depressing, painted everything. We have our mechanical room in here, and we have a door that goes straight out to the pool. If people are coming over and barbecuing, they could just go straight through the garage in there. Also, our garage doors, we bought um, from a mistake order from Kickback Jack's restaurant. They had ordered these garage doors, so uh, we got them at a discount. Again, paying cash for everything in the house, I was able to negotiate a cash price, not a 30-day net payment or anything, or didn't deal with construction draws or loans. We were able to go straight to each contractor and try to get the best deal that we could. Again, the mechanical room. Now, in that room is the hot water heater that actually heats all the concrete floors uh, for the winter time. Not that we have a very brutal winter. So this is your, your, your landing pad. This is right when you first walk in. We get our kids to take off their shoes and drop their book bags in. We got a linen closet here. All of our closets in here are all motion sensored lights. As you turn around and go into the laundry room, we again have another door to the pool. So you can go in here, change your bathing suits, get a towel and not track water in through the main part of the house. Uh, farm sink, which we didn't do too many farm components. We built this out, tile the walls. Uh, theater lights, which actually dim out. Check this out, slowly like a theater. And anyway, uh, this is the this wing of the house is really the utility part. So half bathroom. So if you come in through the garage or through the front door, you got a quick space here to use the restroom for guests. We actually play ball here, right in the foyer, right? So our kids kind of use this as a space to hang out. We have our artwork wall, which we had an artist up in Asheville that had some kind of more decorative art. I don't know if this is necessarily our style, but I thought it fit the house well. So we put lighting up there. We have 100 year old church lights hanging from the top. These are 26 foot ceilings. I built our staircase up for the kids' rooms up there. We actually built this house very, very affordably, but we spent a little bit more money on, on light. So we have 34 windows, I think five doors going to the back of the house. So we tried to spend a little bit more time on bringing the outside in, which actually this house is probably best to film when we do snow, uh, when we do have snow here, which has not been in a while, but it's so beautiful with the white coming in from the outside. So our family room, 
is all one big open concept. So dining area, uh, our garden is all on this side of the house so we can see that from our dining table. Screen porch, we have a large like 500 square foot L-shaped screen porch uh, that we use most of the year here. Uh, this is not a big ass fan, which is the best company to buy from. Uh, if I would have built a house now and put one of those in, I went cheap and bought that on Amazon. Fireplace, which actually radiates quite a bit of heat. 16 foot ceilings uh, on the on the slate, the part of the roof, the high end, and then down to uh, 10 foot ceilings at the lowest part. But most of the ceilings in this house are 10 feet to 26 feet. I don't know. I don't think she's right. Hey, listen. How sure are you, Katie? Like 100. percent Those aren't 16 feet ceilings. I mean, I think you're wrong, Katie, because this is 10 feet right here. There's no way that that's 22 feet. Let's just keep going up. It's not 15. It might be 18. I thought you were 100% sure. No, I'm not. But 16 was wrong. Yeah. 100% sure it's 15 was wrong. I don't know. I'm going to be thinking that it's 16 feet. It's not 16 feet. This is 26 feet for sure. Yeah, because I remember going over this with the light fixture with people who were doing installing. Chris Hills is the one that installed the light fixture. Yeah, I remember Hotness. Eighth grade still does matter. Um, our kitchen concept again is open. So we did a quartz countertop waterfall. Um, we did a natural wood bar counter that's got 11 coats of clear coat on it. Um, we trimmed out the bottom and the inside here. Again, we saved a lot of money on the floors because they're concrete. Um, our dining room table, which is not real property, but it's really a old 1900s hospital bed, which is the frame and then just a, a, a wood top on it. Our light fixture there, uh, I've been missing a light for four years to that one out, but I can't get another one in. I need to get a taller ladder. So that's the negative of the tall ceilings. <laughs> Take a look at this. Yeah, it looks amazing. The perks of being married to Martha Stewart's long lost daughter are endless. All right, so in our kitchen, open shelves, again, very affordable. Pot filler, because my wife actually cooks, I don't know, 20 meals a, a week here. Um, LED lighting for the backsplash. Uh, all of our stuff on the island is all of our wet stuff, dishes, sink, preparation. We have a hidden pantry, so we can keep our disorder behind cabinet doors. So we had a great idea. Before COVID, I decided to take my office and make it a playroom, which worked out great the last uh, 20 months. But this is our little guy, Vigo. Hey, Vigo, you say hello? <laughs> um, so these are. this is where we spend a lot of our time because uh, it seems like all we do is uh, uh, play with toys all day long and have battles. So this is our kids' playroom. One thing that we did here, these lights actually were from Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s build that never got utilized or all of them didn't get utilized so that was a cool gift from my buddy Dave but we put lights in here even one on the side here a little bump out just to always have good light this is the gun safe no need to show you in there I don't want any hate mail walk-in closet master bathroom masters on the first floor easy um, so we have just a nice uh, uh, walk-in shower tub uh, commode behind the door for the kids and then our master bedroom we actually went pretty small on it because all we do in here really is sleep and hang out and talk when the kids are having a, a nap but we don't watch TV or or do you know we use the rest of the house so we just made it cozy we have a courtyard in the back that has a shower and a jacuzzi uh, so we kind of hang out there uh, at bedtime when it's nice out so all right Downstairs is probably around 2,100 square feet. We tried to build space that we would use every room every day. When we first started to draw this out on a napkin, we had an idea of what we wanted. We wanted a small pool. We wanted everything to be interactive because we spent a lot of time together. If my wife and I lived in an Airstream, she'd be sitting on the si same side of the bench as me, which is not a complaint. I love it. But we all kind of hang out in the same spot. So we wanted usable space that we 
that we'd have access to all the time. We also didn't want a house that felt big. We wanted to keep it kind of cozy and that's hard to do with modern. So we kind of probably have more of a bohemian twist on here. But let's go upstairs and show you what the kids' space looks like. So we'll start here in Ronan's bedroom. This is my five-year-old's bedroom. We got him set up. He's got a nice view of the pool. If he goes to bed and we're hanging out at night, he looks through the window. So um, we have to stop hanging out in the backyard after 7 or 7.30. This is his new crawfish that he got named Flash. And this crawfish spends almost its entire uh, residence with us inside the crocodile mouth. So nothing to show here, folks. We have our spare room, which Vigo, our little guy, still has his crib in. So we're going to put our two boys in the same room with plenty of surveillance. But for now, he's still in here. And then this is our guest room for any company that we have. We have this bathroom here. So a uh, window out looking to the front, floating vanities. And then we went super cheap here and just did the shell tub, which is like 350 bucks. Cause this is where our kids take a bath most of the time. And uh, that's the whole second floor. So this is Bo. Bo's almost 15 years old. And uh, I want to get him a little bit on video here because I know he's not going to be with us forever. So, anyway. <laughs> he's always, always cold now. Shakes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so in the back, our yard has gone totally to crap because we've had about eight ounces of rain this year, this summer. So we have to reseed in, the, in another month or so and it'll be perfect. And, then I'll probably lose it again next year. So just the course of home ownership. And then our back then like porch here is really a nice space. And in this whole back side, we have all of our garden, butterfly bushes, tomato plants. In the back of the, in the back here, we have our peach tree. You could actually probably see some of the peaches on the top of that one still. Uh, apple tree and the pear tree. And they cross pollinate. So we have fruit, tomatoes, cucumbers, sweet potatoes, herbs, all kinds of things growing in this garden. We look at expanding that. I think our next property will be more about the landscape and less about inside space. So we might do another 2,500 or 2,000 square feet inside, but really spend uh, a good third of the budget outside in outdoor space. So thanks for spending a few minutes with us just giving you a house tour. I used to show property for years and years and years. I've never done one on my own house. Please pardon the amateur hour. I've been out of production for a couple years, but it was really cool to see this concept from a seed where we drew this on a napkin. We got an architect, Jenny Pippin. Um, our son, uh, right when he was born, we moved into the house two months later. And then our other little son who's doing laps right now, uh, this is all he knows. So we've raised our family here, super excited to share it with you guys and look forward to our next vlog. Like and subscribe if you're digging the channel.